What's going on guys? Uh, in this video, I wanna really get back to the basics. I've been getting a lot of comments about just like the basics of getting started with Premiere Pro. So a lot of the stuff that I've been talking about is clearly um, going way too fast. And I wanna really move back to the basics, but just like starting out with, you know, how to actually establish your folder and how to make sure things are organized. So in this video, what I wanna do is just touch on how to even organize your folder and just getting started with your editing process. So to be started, to get started, I really recommend getting some sort of external hard drive, an SSD hard drive preferably, because it's gonna be fast enough to keep up with all of your editing and make sure that you're not skipping or not having any drop frames when you're editing. There's nothing more frustrating than trying to edit when things are skipping around. So this is with a, a SanDisk right here. It's a pretty standard uh, SSD. It's a two terabyte SSD, so it's pretty large. Um, but it's gonna provide you with the space that you need for a very long period of time. And the reason why I recommend getting an SSD versus using just your basic computer is because over time your computer will get filled up and you'll have to move stuff around from left to right. You have to switch over projects and it kind of becomes a burden because the way that these non-linear editors such as Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve or um, even um, iMovie and all these different, um, uh, what is it, Final Cut Pro, all these um, non-linear editors work is that if you move a file, the computer will have trouble finding that file. So it's just a matter of making sure that when you set a file and you set a folder, that it's gonna be in the same space. So hopping on in, in this example specifically, what I wanna do is I'm gonna bring it up, I'm gonna show you guys uh, Premiere Pro. We're gonna do this in Premiere Pro. So you can do this in a whole host of other non-linear editors. Um, but, and just so you guys are aware, non-linear editor is just like a way to edit and it's an editing software style. So some of the uh, examples would be Premiere Pro, um, DaVinci Resolve, um, uh, Apple uh, Final Cut, those kind of things. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna, for this example, we're gonna go to a new project, right? And so when you do this, it's gonna ask you, okay, you said you want a new project, where do you want me to store this new project? And we just said, hey, I wanna store it on this, on this drive. So what I would do is I would make a folder on this drive and just name it something that you're gonna remember. So for me, I'm gonna name it something like, you know, Video Editing Black Film Guild. So that way I know, okay, this is where all my different video files and folders are gonna go. And then from in there, each project that I do, let's say I do, um, you know, Black Film Guild Editing, and then I do Project One. Black Film Guild Editing Project 2. That way I can always organize all my footage and all my different files really, really easily and seamlessly. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just name this one Test, right? But I'm gonna go ahead and look at the, the location to make sure, right? Right now it's, it's gonna be, um, the location is a C drive, which is local, but I wanna browse to this drive right here. So for the sake of argument right now, I'm gonna just say that this is a D drive, right? Oh, let me go back actually, because you guys aren't seeing this. So let me go ahead and cancel that. So what I did here is I went ahead and, and, and named this test. And then what I wanna do is find a location. Actually, if you guys didn't see this first part, what I did is I went to new project, right? And then I wanna name this test just for this sake. And what you would do is you name this the name of your actual project. And so after you go to test, you wanna go to location and you wanna navigate to this right here. So let me see if I put this up here real quick for you guys. So you wanna to navigate to this drive right here. So on the location side, I'm gonna go ahead and click location and I'm gonna go ahead and navigate to this. So in the case of this right now, I'm gonna say that this is, I made a folder right here called editing folder, Black Film Guild. We're gonna assume that this is on this drive right here, okay? So you're gonna double click that and you're gonna just select the folder. So now what I've done is I have the name of the file, I have the location which is on this drive right here, right? And now I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. OK. So now that I'm here, you'll see at the top here that we have learning, assembly, editing, color, effects, all these different things right here, right? Now this can be very confusing for people, but the great thing to think about this is that what they're doing is they're actually organizing this for you from left to right. So if you move from left to right, you're gonna be moving in a way that's gonna be the proper way to edit your video. So if you wanna learn something new, this is a place where you can just learn the basics. If you wanna assemble things, this is where you actually assemble all your media, this is where you do so. So in the case of this, before you even start editing, right, you don't wanna edit yet because you don't have any footage. So in the case of this, you would wanna go ahead and start with the assembly aspect of this. And this just has to do with importing your files and your footage. So right now what I would do is I would actually make sure that all of my footage 
is stored somewhere either in a larger bank of footage that a B-roll footage or in the folder that I'm going to be using. So in this case, let's just say, for example, I want to have all of my footage for this project in the same folder that I'm going to be editing in. So what I would do is I would go ahead and go to import media to start. And so if you see here, this editing folder for Black Film Guild, there's nothing in there because there's no footage, right? But if I wanted to, right, what I could do, let's cancel this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and add some footage here real quick. So we're going to go to, um, let's see here. We'll just go to, uh, to pictures really quickly. And let's just add some photos really quick. All right. So we'll add these photos to... Let's copy these and what we're going to do is we're going to add these to our original foot file which was let's see here it was here black film guild editing folder and now i'm going to paste these in there okay so now they're in there right so now when i actually go to this assembly part and they're saying okay you can import your media so i can go ahead and double click here there's a number of ways you can do this the easiest way is probably to double click and now you'll see the footage here. So these can be videos, these can be photos. For the sake of this and the ease of this, I'm just gonna use photos, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight these, and then I'm gonna hit um, open. And now it imported those five files into this editing sequence. So that's the first thing that I wanna show you guys. Now we're gonna move forward with uh, different aspects of that, but all I wanted to do right there is just show you pretty much how you can set up the basic portion of your Premiere Pro project. So I hope that that made sense to you guys. We're gonna continue with this series of really easy kind of to understand processes, but that's gonna get in, getting started with importing photos. I hope that was beneficial, hope it was useful. Um, I hope to see you guys again here real soon. These are the kind of things that we talk about in the course. I have links to the description below, and I hope to see you guys again here real soon.